this is a everyone see I, I hope this is a type of counter control reader. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna set this to to reader here. We have to set. It. Uh, we have. This is the type. Uh, this is the counter itself, which will count from zero to two fifty five. And then this is pre scale here. So this is all invo what's involved in, in, in this time of counter. Uh, as I mentioned, we use we, we need to set up some parameter in this register. We don't use this always, although it's available. What it is that you can set up a value in this register, and the count and the the counter will run. When, it's the, when the counter number match this, it will create interrupt. So that's another a feature that's available. And that's a hardware match inside the app now. Yes. It, 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 that's correct. Right. Okay, so as I, again, as I mentioned, it's 8-bit size. The maximum value on, uh, it can count is 255, and the bottom start at zero. The top here, when we use overflow, it will reach this number here. If we use a compare, output compare match, you can set this to whatever value you want, and it will give you an interrupt when the count reach this top value. As I said, you reach top value, you reset to the bottom, and overflow will occur in our situation here. That's what we have. Uh, counter, you can set that in a normal mode, or in a clear timer on compare match, or uh, fast PWM. I will not mention uh, all this here, but I, this is what we're going to deal with normal mode. Okay. Okay. Uh, in normal mode, well, in, in order to, there are several modes that we, as I mentioned, in, in timer counter, we can have a normal mode or a clear timer or compare match, CTC, and then fast PW mode, and phase correct. Alright. Okay, I just want to show you, I mentioned that these are the register. We won't use this. this. These are the register bits that we have to set. Now, notice that initial value when the machine starts, all these are zero. Remember that. So, if you want to set up for these features, you have to write the value of this to this register here. But we're gonna look at right here. This is the mode. If you want to run in a normal mode, we have to set this register, which is what we have to do here. If you want to do PWM or CTC, we have to set these these bits with this value here. So this is called mode uh, mode two. Mode 3 for fast PWM for and there are other modes too. Now, register keeps, uh, TCC R0B, which is time or counter control register. Uh, these bits spill from this, 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 this one here, which is located at the register B. Now, CS. Let, let's see what CS is all about. Is the yeah? This is CS. You have to set because we have to, we want to pre-scale. As you mentioned, we have to set these to get this kind of pre-scale. Uh, in our example, I am going to set this value. This value here, I'm going to pre-scale to 256. Scale down. All right, so I hope that you follow what what all bits is all about in this.
Okay, so I went through that. So we have to set this to zero, set this for three scale, and this counter when once we okay, we also has to it's page one hundred. I want to show you this. Okay, in order to have it set, uh, we have to enable these are uh, output compare A, output compare, output compare B, output compare A, and this is timer or uh, overflow interrupt enable. We have to set this with to have the overflow enable this bit here. So, I as mentioned, you have to set this bit that I just showed you a while ago to enable overflow interrupt. And there is another more register that we have to set which is called a global interrupt enable. We have to set this bit here so that it will start, then this will start the whole process. Alright, again, just, just recap on that. Uh, the timer overflow will occur when this bit is set, overflow uh, flag is set, and this is enabled. When the counter reaches 255, the next step it will create overflow. This this flag will occur after 255 count. So that's it. Any question? Uh, I have an example. Uh, let me show you the code that I so that you can so we can see what. Arduino. Fortunately, we can do that. It is very, not a very, very easy to set up the code. Set up here, just pin set the pin uh, output LED pin, which is pin 8 here. Which is pin 8. And this is it. All you have to do is just set, set this bit according to what, in this case, here is 3 scale on a uh, timer counter control register B. This is 3 scale. And uh, this is to enable overflow the uh, timer. This is to set overflow, this bit here, this set overflow enable. And you just enable the global register, and that's one it reach this point, the, uh, the timer counter start. And, and this, this is the loop where it's running. I didn't do anything, just have the interrupt do the job here. <coughs> So as it as it's count as it, when it's count to 255, there's an interrupt coming. I I increment some number, and if it reaches 244, which means in one second it it, it interrupt 244 times, that's equal one seconds. And then I say turn the LED on and off. This is so basically that's what what it does. So you can set almost like that like a count, uh, 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 frequency generator. That's all. What is the uh, term Boolean in there? <coughs> well, why is that uh, there? Boolean? Yeah. How about How about Tell me this way then. Boolean? Yeah, it's a data type to state and uh, we refer to two state either true or false. Say binary will be Okay, so what is or it's not? Is it true or false? Yeah. Binary. Is it is it state of true or false? Okay, what does your example do? 
Well, uh, my example is let the counter count to uh, to two fifty five, and once it reaches that point, the interrupt occur. And when it occur, I increment a counter inside. There is another counter, and right. this counter will look at the 